Hey guys, today I'm here to do something a little bit different from what I normally do. This won't be a hair video, this won't be an outfit video, a makeup video, or anything like that. I just felt the need to talk about something that's been weighing on me for quite some time now. One thing that I've noticed with the women of my generation is that there's a struggle to maintain or have a respect for purity. And I don't blame the women per se. I do blame our culture, the time that we live in, and ultimately the people we surround ourselves with. It's interesting now that virgin has become almost a taboo concept or word. And I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> is there anything wrong with that? Whenever I tell people that I myself am 100% a virgin, they look at me with utter shock. I'm just like, wait, is this like strange or something? Like, <laughs> and it's sad that it has to be that way because choosing to maintain that purity, choosing not to have sex should not be something that is frowned upon. I mean, if anything, it prevents a number of things. It prevents an early pregnancy. It prevents sexually transmitted infections or diseases. It prevents emotional distress oftentimes and I find those things to be wonderful reasons to abstain from sex. So if you guys didn't already know, I'm a Christian. I believe the word of God as told to me by the Bible. Now I'm not judging anybody else for believing differently. This is just what I personally believe. As far as sex is concerned, the Bible says that we shouldn't fornicate, right? That we should not have sex before we're married. And when such a thing occurs, when sex does occur, when a man knows a woman, they become one, which is why it's such an intense thing to engage in. And I know personally that I don't want to do it with just anyone. Now, there are those of us that consider sex casual or something that can be done anytime if you just feel like it. But I, I don't think so. I personally do not think so because whether you like it or not, you join with that person on a level that is really, really intense. And I think a lot of young women and young men fail to realize that. Now granted, for those of you out there who like to have casual sex, that's your business. That's fine. It's just something that I personally will never engage in. My body, I'm saving for my husband. And as of now, I'm married to Jesus, guys. <laughs> but seriously, like these things, even women nowadays try to say, oh, you know, I'll just like sleep with this person or I'll sleep with that person. But they deny the fact that as women, we are very emotional creatures. Even if we want to be detached from a person that we've been intimate with, it's not really possible. And those kinds of things can really fragment a person emotionally and psychologically. So for many, many reasons, I choose not to engage in sex and I don't think it's necessary. I'll tell you guys a story. So, you know, I've talked to a few guys in my life, you know, dated around a bit, not very much because honestly, I don't really have time for these types of things. What concerns me now is my education and then I guess after college I'll be more involved with like a relationship or whatever 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 but anyway I dated around a bit and it's interesting because the guys that approach me even if they know what they've done and they like have gotten around quite a bit they've never once disrespected me I mean I personally am very upfront with who I am I'm not ashamed to say I'm a virgin like, I, I really don't understand why that's taboo, guys, but I digress, I digress. Basically what I'm saying is, these guys, they've never once disrespected me. And it's interesting because I'll see how they interact with other women. And maybe this girl will have engaged in more things than I have personally. And she'll make it more known. But when they're now referring to that woman or interacting with her, I notice the respect is not there. And I'm intrigued by that. Because it's not necessarily that this person does not deserve respect, but a body count really does matter. That really, really, really intrigued me. 
And sometimes the guys I talk to, they tell me, oh yeah, you know, girls these days, they're so loose. Somebody who's a virgin is really hard to find. Honestly, I didn't know that until I started like getting out and like having a life. I, you guys might think I get out much, but I really do not. <laughs> I used to get out like maybe a little bit more last year after I actually started having a life, but nothing. It's not really my thing. But anywho, I found that women who engage in those things more tend to be disrespected more readily. And then the thing that intrigues me most is that sometimes women accept that kind of disrespect. Now, no matter who you've slept with, whether you've slept with one person, 20 people, 100 people, or zero people, you don't deserve to be disrespected by anybody, any man. And I find that girls oftentimes carry themselves in such a way that warrants that disrespect, but it's not necessary. It saddens me to see many, many, many young, beautiful women completely rubbished by guys simply because they're ready to sleep with them or they give themselves more than they need to. If anything, you don't have to give yourself to anybody. Treasure yourself, know your self-worth. I refuse to give myself to anybody. I really don't have time for that type of rubbish, honestly. And it's just, it's just not necessary. I have much more important things to worry about. And before I give anybody license to disrespect me, I'd rather much worse things happen to me. So it's just unacceptable, unacceptable. And like I was saying, it really breaks my heart to see young women of our generation, my peers, my comrades, allow people to disrespect them when they really do not deserve it. So that brings me to this point. Self-respect, self-worth. As a young woman, as a girl, as an older woman, you really should not allow anybody to treat you in a way that is not respectful, that is not full of love, that is not full of regard. And I found that only guys that don't know me even have the audacity to speak to me in a way that is less than I would like to be spoken to. And of course, I check people when they talk to me anyhow. Long story short, ladies, know your worth. Know that you are one of God's gifts to mankind. Don't let anybody disrespect you and don't give your body freely to the first person that comes asking. Know that your body is a temple, a treasure, something that is beautiful and pure. Do not let it be defiled. Okay, I love you guys, and please let me know if you like these kinds of videos. Please don't forget to subscribe, and be sure to check out everything that we have to offer. Until next time, bye guys!